Hey guys, it's me, Shades of Randy, aka Shades of Randy Eats. I've had a lot of people request that I start doing videos on some of the dishes that I create, so here you go. Tonight we're doing a chunky spaghetti, which is also going to serve as our mukbang dinner for tonight, so be on the lookout for that on our YouTube channel. Right now, what I'm doing right now is uh, actually sweating and sauteing down some vegetables and uh, some olive oil, which is the bell pepper onion, and garlic, and we're gonna sweat those down for about two to three minutes until they are soft and translucent. Here we have three pounds of ground beef, and basically we're going to just brown this off and mix those vegetables and beef together. Next, we're gonna go ahead and give it a little seasoning which is my pink Himalayan salt, which I love this salt. This is my favorite salt of all time. And it's also better for you. Where's my salt? There it is. There's my pink Himalayan salt. I use it on everything and I often have to run to the store and get more. So we're gonna go ahead and season our meat up with that. And we're gonna add our Badea Complete Seasoning, which is another one of my seasonings I use on a daily basis. And I really should go ahead and get the big one because I really use this literally every day on the majority of my dishes. So we go ahead and brown that off, continue to brown that off. And next, it should look just like this, now nice and browned. And then you're gonna add um, some sweet uh, Italian sausage. I had these left over from a previous um, dinner, so I just decided to throw them into this um, spaghetti on today. So brown that off completely. There's our spaghetti, which is linguine. And we're going to add some crushed red pepper flakes for a little added heat. And you're going to go ahead and drain your ground beef mixture. Get all of that grease and fat off because you do not want a greasy spaghetti. Here we have um, the ragu chunky tomato garlic and onion. And I'm also using a thick and zesty spaghetti sauce as well as um, some um, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm just adding this to the dish for added zest some sweetness, and a little bit more bolder flavor. Add a little bit of water to thin that out and let that simmer and cook for about three to five minutes. Yes, go ahead and make, and that's our pasta still boiling, almost done. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn down our heat to a simmer so that our flavors can mingle. And we're gonna add some Parmesan cheese for added flavor and some nuttiness and of course some creaminess. Go ahead and add your pasta, mix that well. And go ahead and mix it, mix it, mix it good. I'm going to also keep letting this simmer for another two to three minutes so that the pasta would adhere to the sauce. And we're still mixing because I love when you mix, mix, mix because you don't want, you want every piece of that pasta covered in, the, in, your, in your sauce. Next, we're gonna go ahead and prepare our sweet corn, which is from Kroger. My family loves corn, so um, they requested corn tonight, so there you go. And just put a little butter in the pot, and there you go. The completed dinner. Spaghetti, corn, and um, twisted garlic bread with a little side salad. Mmm, good eats. I hope you guys enjoy. Oh.